Welcome back. In September of 2017, Mike Leach said this after Eastern Washington defeated Washington State at Martin Stadium. The best player on the field was uh, Cooper Cup, and the second best player was their quarterback, who's got a name I can't pronounce. But uh, he, did a, he did a tremendous job also. Now he's a little more familiar with that quarterback's name, Gage Gubrud. All eyes will be on Gage when Wazoo Camp starts in two days as the sixth year transfer competes for the Cougars starting QB job. The journey to the Palouse for Gubrud, though, wasn't as simple as just a quick drive from Cheney to Pullman. All of a sudden you end up at a Pac-12 school and you have a chance to be the starting quarterback at a Pac-12 school and it's like, well, that changed pretty quick. I could never in a million years would I have thought that was going to happen. Three years ago, Gage Gubrud helped Eastern Washington upset Wazoo in Pullman. Hey, Joe, we just got a dunk for WSU, and we're looking for a lot more than a Stay tuned, baby. Stay tuned. Three years later, and Gage is hoping no one upsets the Cougs this season. You know, I mean, they were the first ones to offer me. They offered me really quickly after they saw me in the portal, like the day after. In Washington State, the next morning, uh, Messaged me and say, what's the deal? What's going on? Why, how are you? I thought you were done. I was like, no, nah, I can get a six year. And they're like, oh, wow, that's awesome. Are you interested in Washington State? And I said, heck yeah, I'm interested in anyone that wants to be interested in me. An injury suffered in the Eagles' fifth game of the season led to Gage being granted a sixth year of eligibility. Due to Eastern already having their starting QB in place for this coming season, Gage decided to transfer. And they called me and like, hey, we're going to offer you a scholarship. You want to, you, we want you to watch the state really bad. And I was like, geez, that was quick. Like it was from two hours from when they reached out to me to, yeah, we want you here, come here. Just a few weeks and an NCAA clearance later, Gage was officially a Coug, getting a new lease on a senior year he thought he'd lost. It's like all icing on the cake right now. I've, I've had a great career and met great people and played for some great coaches and made friendships that are gonna last a lifetime. And now I just get to keep playing ball and I get to go play a Pac-12 game every game now. So it's, I mean, another opportunity, another situation that if you told me I'd be last year at this time, that this would be a situation, I would say you're crazy. Gage has been in Pullman for about seven months now. He says adjusting to the air raid has been a breeze. The next step, adjusting to the next level of play. I don't have any worries about how difficult it'd be to learn the system. And I think the biggest difficulty is just getting used to the speed of the game every single week. Like you're, you play a Pac-12 team once a year at an FCS school like Eastern, and now we're playing Pac-12 type teams every single game. You know, so that's that's going to be just always you're playing. The level of competition is going to go up. But as the former Eastern walk-on prepares for that next level, he also remembers the level that got him here. I mean, I'm super excited to be at WSU. But um, Eastern is what gave me this opportunity. I'll, I'll never forget that and kind of talk about don't forget where you come from. Eastern is the one that gave me this opportunity. So I'm, I'm super thankful for that. And it's been, it's been a grind. It's been a long, I feel like I've been playing college football for a long time now. But uh, super excited for the upcoming year.